Capac. Huh? Capac. What? Where are you? Why is <laughs> everything blinking? What the? <laughs> what are you doing out there? I've been working on the ships. Well, the they jump. do need a bit of work. Well, the recharge happens. Although, we were thinking of moving stuff over to the shuttle. We were? Well, because we thought we might be able to jump further with the shuttle. Because uh -huh. our jumps are pretty short and we've still got 3,300 kilometers to go. That does seem far. It does. So we're going to have to dig this stuff out of the side. Yes. Um, well, it might actually be easy to go down. Oh. Yeah, possibly. So what do we need? We're taking the cryopods and the reactor and the jump drive. Yeah, so, so. all the small grid stuff in the ship can go. Okay. So... I mean, it's got these ports for sticking stuff on, but some of them are really exposed, so I was kind of thinking of modifying it slightly. So we could um, merge things on with a little bit more compact and a little bit more protected. Well, they might have designed it this way on purpose. They might have. Why can't I design it differently on purpose? So the jump drive goes in the bottom. I mean, that'll be easy enough to armor over. Well, I was thinking put the jump drive on one side and put the reactor on the other. So the reactor there are goes on the ports. back. Yeah, but that, that means it's really, really exposed if we're ever chased. Yeah, but we can put a put a thing over it. But so it'll be really exposed. Open the top hatch. Why? Because we're going to bring the cryopods in. Okay. Or a cryopod. Yeah, a cryopod. We can probably just grind down that other one, to be honest. Because that's the brains of the whole operation. Yep. All right, should we remove that other cryopod? Does it have any important bits in it? No. Yeah, I mean, I guess we don't need it. We got, like, beds and stuff. Yeah, I'm just gonna grind it off. Oh. Oh, hang on. Um. Okay, but can you bring that around near a connector? What? Uh, bring around near a connector. Why? Because if we're gonna be fiddling around with this for a while, we need to make sure that Steve has some oxygen. Uh, there's a connector on the top of the shuttle. Yeah, yeah. is that piped through? Yeah, should Probably. be. Probably. Yeah, alright. So we just gotta connect it up temporarily all right well he's all hooked up now so maybe we should do the generator first yeah because it's on I, the end i still think we should be putting the generator in underneath but if you really want to put it on the back we can put it on the back hang on why don't i get rid of this merge block and let's permanently attach it at the back uh sure that could work because then we can put some armor around a bit more easily you're being very delicate it's good to see well it is a reactor <laughs> i'm glad captain slow is out today Oh no. Uh, you may have to release it and I'll pop a couple of arm blocks down so that you can grab it a bit further out. Nice. Nice, you're in. Well, it said something about booting up, so I guess you're good to close the lid. It did? Yeah. Oh. Uh, it says Registry bits are missing. Registry units missing. I think it might mean the other jump drive bit. Oh, possibly. Well, I guess the only thing for it is to take a test flight. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can go a lot further with this. We've got a thousand Ks on this jump drive. Yeah, but we're gonna have a lot less equipment. It's true. Right. Should Tug we go park stowed. this in an asteroid? Uh, yeah. Uh, do we have a landing gear we can lock to the asteroid with? Um, no. What the? Uh. We appear to not be slowing down much. Here we are. Uh, there's a big Why hole. Why is there a giant there. hole in this asteroid? Hmm. Could be a space slug. Uh, let's go check that out. Because if there's nothing in there, that is a perfect place for us to hide this. Assuming it's big enough. Looks big enough. It looks natural. Um, yeah, there's nothing in there that I can see anyway. Do you want to stick the fighting part out? Like reverse in. Well, I'm not sure if the solar panels are going to fit in. Yeah. Alright. 
Although I guess that would give us the engine, big engine, facing out if we need to escape fast. It would. It would. I mean, we can always take off the solar panels since they're not going to work in this environment. No. Anyway. Incorrect. <laughs> False statement. <laughs> okay, we can always move the solar panels and attach them on the surface of your module back here. Rather than hanging out as fins. So that could work. You're just going to try and jam it in there now, aren't you? Just to make sure that that doesn't have to happen. I think it's big enough. Uh, you want to keep an eye on that red thing on the radar in case it's going to be a jerk? In case it's going to be an unwelcome moose. I'm sorry, mouse. Mouse moose. Yeah, we fit cleanly, don't we? Okay. I've discovered silicon. <laughs> well done. I think that's probably good enough. Are you in? Are we all inside? Pretty much, yeah. Nicely done. Yep, that looks good. Asteroid hidey hole. See if we turn off the lights. Yeah. Switch the thrusters to station keeping. Or just switch the thrusters off, then there'll be no light in here at all. Oh, uh, Kapak, there is still one thing we need to do. Uh, prepare some lunches to take with us. No, we we forgot. We still need to put a survival kit on this shuttle. Oh. We have to figure out how we can tack one on. You're going to ruin everything. I'm, I'm aware of that, but if we don't have a survival kit, we're in a bit of... Well, we're, we're stuck. Uh, we could expand this bit at the back where the reactor is. Yeah, just, just slap it on the back. The back. Um, so it's the one from the terrible shuttle that you really hate uh, so I guess I just grind down this little ship because uh, likelihood yeah. of using it is extremely low yeah I guess so it has served its function oh, I'm gonna have to grind off those things aren't I there it you is go. attached Keel. sweet we're good to go then uh, do you want to power down and turn off the thrusters and stuff so that you know how to turn them back on huh you just press the button yeah, do you want to make sure that you can turn them back on relatively quickly if we need to get out of here in a hurry if, when, when slash if we returned? Okay, survival kick. Survival kick? Survival kit is piped up. Oh, I just had an idea. What's that? To have a fighter on like a ball turret so that you can <laughs> use it as a turret when it's attached. Yeah, but be able to free it when you want to. Yeah. Okay. Connected. All right. Press us off. Alright, it's pressurizing. So something was on fire. Here we go. Did you make yourself a GPS? Nope. I want to do that. I guess I could. Alright, and jumping. You only have to do three of these. Well, three in a bit. See, I told you we'd be going sideways. What? It's forward. Yeah, but the ship is coasting sideways. Uh, technicalities. All right, how far did we get? A thousand kilometers. Okay. Not too shabby. Guess that's just a few more jumps then. Yep. Yeah, the shuttle's pretty zippy too. Yeah, despite our extra, the extra appendages we gave it. Yeah. Do you think the other jump drive bit is going to be on this science station? Huh, there's got to be a chance of it. Oh, go back. I've got a way to entertain ourselves for a little bit. Um, what? Well, we got six minutes to wait for the jump drive to charge. Six minutes? Uh-huh. All right, I'm going to have a nap. No, I've got, a, I've got an idea. Have you got any steel plate on you? What? Steel plates? Yeah. Alright, come outside with me. This seems fraught with peril. No, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, we're gonna play who can survive sticking their face in the <laughs> hydrogen thrusters the longest. No. Now open up your symbols. Do you want to be X's or O's? Oh. Oh dear. <laughs> uh... <laughs> How did I end up in this situation? <laughs> Which do you want to be? Come on. 
I don't know, I'm trying to find it in the thing. Uh, it's under symbols on the left hand side if you look. I'm gonna menu. be X's. Okay. Because X is extreme. Alright, I'm going first then. Well, I mean, you could go like that and have a five, five by five. five. Alright. So is it. Are we doing a connect four? Uh, connect who knows? Alright, we'll try a connect three. See, how, see if it works. There's <laughs> a lot of thought going into this for you. Yeah. <laughs> Epic doesn't want to lose. What you gonna do? I also love that we're doing this at 100 meters a second. <laughs> Something quite like doing things safely. Uh, oh, well played, Kamak. I think you might have stumbled me a little bit here. Well, in a 5x5 five five game, we've managed to draw a 3x3 three three game. <laughs> <laughs> we have. We have indeed. I couldn't think of anything else to do to... I mean, we could play Hangman. Just trying to think of what we could do with the characters. Or, I mean, we could... The other thing we can do is uh, we can play... Rock, Paper, Scissors. Oh, this is the worst road trip ever. Uh, we're at a stalemate here, aren't we? No, not yet. How about now? Mm, still not, but it's not going to last long. No, because as soon as both of us put something on the bottom row, then it's a stalemate, yeah? Pretty much. Hmm. Let me check on the jump drive. 30 seconds. Let's go. What? We didn't finish the game. There we go. Stalemate. It's not possible for either of us to connect four at this point. Yes, but he broke the game. <laughs> sure, it's my fault. WRK Fireworm. 36 kilometers and going Pretty further far away. away. Yeah. 2300 kilometers to go. Yep. And jumping. Alright. 1300 kilometers to go. <laughs> uh. You got any other ideas of games we can play? Uh. I mean, we could keep score with that little board at the back and play rock, paper, scissors. See who wins the. See who's first to five or something. No, no rock, paper, scissors. But we've got the emotes for it. Uh, we could do a painting competition. You could paint your half of the ship and I'll paint mine. I don't think that's a good idea. Steve might have some ideas of what we could do. Oh, we can't do rock, paper, scissors anyway because it doesn't work. What about the TV? Surely there's something we could put on the TV. Uh, I think so. It's a bunch of posters, that's about it. Hell. I spy with my little eye something beginning with S. Stop. Nope. Well, there isn't anything else. There are lots of things. But you can't see the science of station. Too. What? <laughs> the ship you're in doesn't count. Oh, okay. Um, no, it still works. I spy with my little eye. Something begin with W. What? You heard me. No, what? No. Oh. What? There's not a thing you can see. <laughs> oh, there's a wyvern. 23k's out and closing. Yeah. Starts with a W. Oh, is it the wyvern? However did you guess? <laughs> Yay, I win! Oh, boy. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Uh... Several... Several scavs just spawned in. Just yep, jumped see. in. A heron. We're getting quite close to the wyvern. Yeah, how's that jump drive looking? Oh, the heron's gone. Two minutes. I see an insane tiger though. I've actually got a visual on something. In fact, that something seems like it's getting pretty close to the wyvern. Wait, is it that? I think I can. S I think I know what you're talking about. There's something like floating in between all these asteroids. Mm-hmm. Did you want to try and swing by and check it out? Uh. I could go have a look in my fighter. It looks like the wyvern is stationary. Hang on, let's 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 pull over and check this out. Now that you've disconnected, we are committed to staying here until you can reconnect. 
You realise that, right? Uh, I've lost track of that bogey. I've still got it. Do you want to follow me? I should probably take point since I'm slightly more Yeah, that's more why I'm going slow enough that you can pass, pass me. But at least you've got a heading from me now. Oh, yeah. I can see it. Be careful with these wreckers. They were rough before. They were the ones uh, that almost completely obliterated the dust storm. Mate K's out from the Wyvern. Yeah. I can see the other thing, but I don't see any activity, and it seems Do to have stopped moving. On board this oh, thing? the Wyvern's moving mm. now. Oh, yeah, it is. It's moving quickly. Is that coming on you? No, it's going away, but I'm getting closer to it. I have no idea how far away this thing is that I'm heading toward. It's really tiny, and I have no perception of its scale. Uh, it's getting pretty close. Wyvern's behind us now. Got a target lock, 1.5. Not seeing any weapons fire. I see a hydrogen tank. Oh, yep, 2k's out. What is it? Chip? Looks pretty mangled. Might have had a fight with the other fella. These thrusters, hydrogen tank, not much else. I do see a cargo though. Uh, does the hydrogen tank have fuel? It's got some ice. The hydrogen tank. Where's the display? Hydrogen tank says red. That's not helpful. Uh, it is 100% full. Oh. Wonder if there are enough P. Oh, there's a connector here. Oh, whoa! Gunfire. The Wyvern. Get in your ship. Get in your ship. Oh, I feel like this was bait. Where'd it go? There it is. I feel like we were just baited to do that. Uh, Kepak, you and your fighter? Yep. Um, Shall we reconnect and jump out of here? I'm going after this guy. What? 1.3, I got a solid lock. Oh dear. Doesn't look good. You got some hits. He's still shooting. He's out of my range. Why won't my guns shoot? What was that? Did you get shot up by some artillery or something? I heard a weird voice in my radio. Oh. There's a hide- There are two things here, Kapak. Uh-oh. Uh, I might have a problem. What? I'm very low on fuel. What the- You down? Uh... I just saw something explode in space. And it made a real weird noise. Maybe they've got rail guns or artillery or something? Are you drifting? Uh, not yet, but I will be soon. Um, <laughs> I'm going to... This is science station. I'm going to align on the science station and burn for it. And I'm going to have to try and jump up to catch you. Delightful. This has always gone so well when we've tried to retrieve each other this way. I had full fuel. I thought it was it was going to last longer. All right. Do you want to give me a GPS? Or have you got some sort of beacon or something you can turn on? Uh, possibly. Because that would be better than a GPS because then I can see where... Then I can keep up to where you are. Hopefully they don't have a jump drive. 
What speed are you going? 40. At least you're not going too fast, so I should be able to catch you once I can get close enough. And have you found a signal on you yet? Uh. Nope. You've got no beacon? Just my suit. I've got lights. What if I huh. blink them in Morse code? Uh, I might have a way to get a bit of fuel. Can you see my beacon now? It says Steve. Mm. Nope, don't see any Steves. You should now. I forgot I hadn't turned it on. <laughs> nope. What? Uh, Broad... how, how far are you from Intercept 1? I deleted it because I thought I was done with it. Do you want to send me a new GPS? Wait, you stopped. Yep. Why didn't you tell me that? You last told me you were moving at 40 meters a second, so I kept moving. I was. I just stopped. How did you get fuel to stop? Because I got one of them oxygen, hydrogen generator -y things. Oh, did you steal some ice from the thing just before you? No, I must have had some on board still. Ah. Uh -huh. 2K's out. Oh, I see it. Um... I'm not sure there's much point bringing the fighter. It's fine. I'm just worried about our total fuel situation. We're down to 81% on the shuttle. Well, I mean, if we find an asteroid with some ice, I could hand mine a bit. To Actually, that's true. Up. That's true. That's fair. All right. Well, that's your job now. Ice by fa ice asteroid. Is there a reason you're drifting off? Yeah, you went past me. Do you want to turn your dampness on? <laughs> I'm not exactly sure that I went past you. I think you might have gone past me. <laughs> right. I am attached. Okay. You staying out there? Sure. You don't have to. I was asking. Just in case of emergency. Whoop. 289 kilometers to go. Right, that's one more jump, right? That is. Right, should we head to these asteroids over here, see if we can find some ice? Uh, do you see any likely candidates? Well, I mean, there's one that's pretty close to the left. Because it's look. as good a place to look I as any. trying to see if there were any that were, like, entirely ice. So you brought a drill, did you? Yeah, I got my hand drill. I do not, so any drilling is going to be your doing. Uh, the shuttle has O2H2 gens as well, so... Can oh. use them to fill. I see nickel down there. Uh, silver, probably, I think. Yeah, I don't see anything that looks like ice here, but if you want to go out with your drill and check it out. Well, I can just oh. wait here, because I can't do anything useful. Watch out for morose cougars. Uh, what the? What? what? You should come over here and look at this. This is real weird. I'm worried something might hatch out of it. Yeah, there are some convoluted caverns in this thing. Oh, I see your lights. Look at this. Um, That doesn't seem normal. No. No, it doesn't. Should I drill it? Yeah, um, I guess. Also, Could. Also, there's another one of those weird tunnels around here somewhere. There are lots of weird tunnels around here. Do you want to grab this? And, do you want to check this thing out since you might not find it again? Is it just ice? Yeah. Well, let's let's get a couple of handfuls. All right. Got everything I can carry. Uh, you can do one more little bit for me. All right. Where's the ship? Over that way. Kabak, can you see where I am? Huh? Can you see where I yeah. am? Yeah. Okay. Look in the direction I'm pointing with my gun. Yeah. See the asteroid to the left there? Yeah. How much does that look like an engineer flying? True. Yeah. Like holding a grinder or something. Yeah, it's just like his legs are dangling and he's got his backpack on. You sure it's not a friend of yours? Be a very big friend. Um, where's the ship? Ship. 
Hello, ship. Ship? Ship? Right, I've dropped off my ice. Where's the ship? Now, have you gotten lost already? You can literally see it on your HUD. No. I can't? Oh, I can't. Oh, found some silver. I keep getting confused. I thought I saw silver at a distance. We're gonna be rich. Doubtful. How long have we got? 30 seconds. Come back and get aboard. Oh, uh, yeah. Alright. Jumping. Well, that wasn't too bad. 30 k's out. Now we proceed on foot. <laughs> on jetpack foot. Well, shall we take cover in one of these asteroids? No, I think I think we go with the ship because we're going to need all of its equipment and stuff. So we'll just have to be careful as we approach. Hopefully, this thing's still going to be recognized as theirs somehow. Well, or we could park up at one of the asteroids, and I could take the fighter in to scout it out first. Uh, maybe, but I, we're still a long way out, and. Approaching slowly like this should give us a time to get the jump drive charged again. So if we need to, we can jump out. Like what I'm uh, thinking is, what if I what if I scout in with this, and if we take any fire, I just jump, and I've got it set to jump say five k's. So I'll jump out, and then you can bring the fighter in. Oh uh, yeah. Something on this shuttle sounds like a steam train. It's the thrusters, or it could be the vent that's right next to us. Well, we're pretty close now. Yep. I wonder if we should take the camera off your off the back of your thing and stick it on the front of this so we've got a camera to look through. You gonna do that? Yep. Alright. I'll bring us to a stop. Also, can you please notify me when you're gonna open the door so I can bring our oxygen in so we don't waste it? I'm a free spirit. Yeah, soon you'll be a dead spirit. A spirit spirit. Cause we'll run out of oxygen. This will help me line up this would have helped me line up my jumps too. There you go. One spy camera. Up on in. Alright, I can see two things, well, four things floating, standing off from the station. They kind of look like some of the cargo ships that we've been uh, repurposing. Okay. And I can see the station. The station itself is quite large. It's cross-shaped. Ah! Are you intentionally flying in front of the camera? Walking, but yes. Are you going to get in? Uh, are we going? Yeah. Because we can both look through this camera at the same time. Uh, should I head to one of those ships first, or should I head straight for the station? Well, I mean, they might be expecting this ship to show up, so we could just fly in as if we're supposed to be there. Okay. I'm down for that. I'll keep an eye on them and tell you if I see any hostile activities. See another ship down and to the left. Oh. Oh, Steve's doing a recognition code thing. Okay. I mean, I'm not seeing any... I'm not seeing any movement. I'm not seeing any indications of attack or enemy IFFs. Yeah. So maybe they're friendly, question mark? These ships oh. do not look intact or even vaguely powered up. Yeah, it looks like the station might have taken some damage. I can yeah, see some kind of arcing. Yep. Oh, I've got a target on what looks like a shipping crate. There are oh. multiple turrets oh. on the top. Oh, the target at the top, up and left. I can't see it with the camera. Yeah, there's a compromised mule. It's okay. More interested on the turret, interested in the turrets oh. on top of this station. Uh, I'm seeing some kind of movement inside the station. Yeah, something's spinning, orbiting maybe. The guns aren't shooting us. Well, yes, yes they, they are. are. That hurt. 
Good thing we had the survival kit to take all those bullets. Oh no. Don't tell me it's dead. I mean, it's still there. It's uh, on fire a bit. Oh no. Oh, we got so lucky. We got so lucky. The medical components are all still there. We can repair it. Uh, we need to find four motors. Two motors. Mm. Oh wait, I got some. The lower side connector had some. We need a display. Can you break one of the screens in there? Oh wait, I'll take the jump drive one. Oh man. How did we get that lucky? Okay, the survival kit's working again. Um... So that was extremely hostile. Just a little bit. Did you want to attempt that in your fighter, or do we now have to make the trek back to our asteroid hole and bring the dust storm? I could scout it out, see what's going on. I'll tell you what, we jump past an asteroid. I'm going to head for that and see what I can see. Alright, why don't I take you to that asteroid rather than you using your fuel to do it? Well, I mean, it won't use much fuel. I just got to coast over there. But sure, we can both head that way. Uh, we lost the camera, by the way. Of course we did. Wait, that well, asteroid is closer to us than the station, right? I think so. This is really Ooh. big on the other side. Code received. Okay. What does it mean? Um. It's part. I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic that it might mean that we might not get shot at. Okay, I think that asteroid is really big on the other side. <laughs> yes, I get that um, impression too. I'm going to speed up, and I'm going to go past them a lot faster this time. Oh boy. And when we get close to being in their gun range, I'm going to start the jump cycle. So that the 10 second countdown isn't all while we're under fire. I'm seeing some space debris. I'm not seeing any gunfire. Nope. Oh, there's a big dome on it. Uh, we didn't get shot. Alright. Um, we are definitely not airtight, though. I can tell you that much. I almost got my feet shot off. Alright, do you want to detach and just be ready? I'm going in in my suit. What? I thought you were going to take your fighter. That's nah, alright. Isn't that what it's for? Whoa. There's a big gun on here. Where's the docking point? Uh, there's like a big, big cargo bay door. Oh, there's a connector on here. Oh, I'm flipped around relative to this thing. Yeah, we we approached it from underneath. This door looks like it's operational, though. Uh, should I open it? Uh, one sec. Uh, you don't currently have anything to connect with. I know. I just wanted I... to kind of sit us roughly there. Okay. Joining you. Oh, that looks like a missile battery on the other side. Okay, you ready? Alright. There are guns. They're not shooting. There's a dead body. Well, looks like we got here too late. Oh! Sensor? Don't see any. There are security cameras and a couple of turrets above our head. Don't okay, seem these, to have triggered them though. These buttons seem to have been deactivated. Whoa, what the? This doesn't look healthy. No. That's the sensor. What are these things? Uh, if you're sh short of bottles, there are some in this crate here. That's right. Thruster components, power cells, detector components. Oh. What's up? Where'd you go? It's been 50 long years since the Technophage shut down. The attacks have gotten far worse, but we've somehow held out on our own. We've managed 50. to gather enough parts from the wrecks to put together a ship that may hold together. We'd hoped at the beginning to at least bring emergency food supplies to the other stations, but I don't think that's an option any longer. Their comms remain silent. 
Now we're planning to head further out of the system and set up a new base. Try to hide, maybe hold out a bit longer. I'd love to go with them, but we all know without the constant medical support I can only receive here, I'll never survive. Keep the dream alive! Ooh. And there's boutons. Um, there's also 500 kilos of uranium here. Oh, going up. What? Oh. Come back, I can't join you. Come back down. Looks like the habitation's up here. Come back down. Oh. oh. That's not down! Oh, I'm just trying the buttons and seeing what happens. <laughs> Try a different button. Come, come over here. In this crate. Yeah. Grab some of it, like the magnesium. I can't find a way to open it. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit awkward, but it's there. It's the look at the lid. Magnesiums. Mm-hmm. Just in case. Didn't we need reactor components? Not anymore. I mean, you can take them if you want, but no, we didn't need them anymore. All right. Uh, let's go upstairs. Okay. Uh, did you want to check out this room? There's one more room. Oh. Ah, jump drive. What? There's a jump drive. Where? What the? I swear that wasn't there a second ago. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, do you want to go empty your inventory before we go upstairs? That's a lot of snacks. What the? I found ten packages. No, one package. What's package? Huh? Package of what? I don't know. It just says package. I'm taking it. There's a paint gun in here. It's all unexciting. Guess this guy was the last one left. Officers, habitation, quarters. Did you check all of the... Oh. You didn't check the control seat. It's starting to become clear. This was all well planned and we were all unknowing puppets. Nanophage, what a disgusting little idea that was. Twisted as the mind that dreamed it up. Non-lethal weapon system. Simply crowd control. Well, I guess we're all properly controlled now, after all. And that scheming excuse of a defense minister was behind it all. How fitting that all the ships of the Wreckers are named by that slithering reptile. Lock down the military and move in with your own private forces. I'm starting to wish I had left to join the rebels. Uh, uh I found a data pad. Hmm? It says, Lilia never likes it when I rotate out here. It's just too far away from her. She's always been frail, but with my bonus pay, we can get her procedure scheduled. I should call her again with my next com allotment to be sure. She should be okay. I asked Neville to check on her before I left the planet. She'll be fine, I hope. Please let her be okay. I don't know. I'm not sure I'd trust that Neville guy as far as I can throw him. I mean, he was sort of lightly hostile to us for want of a better term but he never well, did a lot to hurt us I mean that doesn't narrow it down much pretty much everything's lightly hostile towards me <laughs> uh, we've managed to get a signal here but it's empty it's been two years since the viral shutdown the men are uneasy and starting to grow restless I understand their concerns early on we received a short burst of radio transmission from the asteroid hangar uh, is that the same asteroid base? Uh, we're attempting to upscale food production and hope they can make it here on their own since our two failed attempts to reach them. And now the Ice, Mu Ice Moon refueling station have stopped broadcasting for aid. They already had two riots. I'm afraid there's nothing we can do for them from here. Uh, is that the same? Is that the same GPS? I think it is. Yeah, I haven't got it. Wait. Uh, yeah, it's the same GPS. Uh, next section. Oh, there's a lab. Whoa, what's this thing? What thing? Oh. This looks real weird. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna grind out these windows. You stand in the middle between these two machines. Sure that's not a door? Pretty sure. Man, I love this show. I just can't seem to stop rewatching it. I wonder if they'll ever make another season. I mean, they have to. The orange guy is a total riot. Why did the network pull it off the air? What were they thinking? 
Yeah, I hate it when stuff like that happens. Hmm. Why do I feel you just wrote that and put it there? Alright, read the idiots one. <laughs> They're both idiots. Orange guy, grey guy, back and forth all day. Give me a break. Get a private room, you two. And even if I try, try to tell them how good Vanguard is, they both bite my head off. If he watches that show again, I swear I'm going to rip the vid chip out and smash it with a hammer. He's even started acting like that orange dude. Security caught him talking to the forklift last week. Seriously? What the hell? Besides, that grey suited guy is better looking. That doesn't sound right. Uh... There's a hologram of the shuttle here. Oh! Well, we did think it was from here. Oh, there's another jump drive here. Project Star Path. To grasp the stars and open a journey for all. This great Energy. endeavor is now nearing its final stages. Never again will we be shackled to this impoverished star system and its lonely jump point. To seek out new lands, new opportunities, and a new way of life. This is our dream. That dream will be made real, but only through hard work, open minds, mutual cooperation, and lax trigger discipline. Seriously? Seemed like a good idea at the time. What does this other one say? Underpowered for the long-range strike craft reconnaissance role as intended. May have better use as short to medium-range combat role if recharge rate can be improved. Suggest pairing with the ULT 057B reactor as recommended by proposal blah blah blah. So that's presumably related to our shuttle and the... E well... Yeah, I the guess reactor so. we paired it with. Oh man, I want a ham and blammo sandwich. Uh... Uh... So we want to steal their gravity? Well, I think we want to steal the jump drives. Which may be easiest done by just grinding through this window. What about the weapon? We got some Potent big guns around the place. Potentially some of that too, yeah. We can basically ransack this joint. But we need to go downstairs first. I regret coming here in only this stuff. So we don't have much cargo space. <laughs> well, speaking of cargo space... Hmm? There are some very large cargo containers down in the engineering section to which I have just found an access way. Ooh. Are you thinking grab one of these, just cut it out, fill it up, grab it, fly off with it? Yeah, might be, uh, would certainly help us might be the quickest carry way everything. Things. I mean, do we need to take everything? Not everything, but we probably want these 29,000 zone chips. Though we're going to need some salt with them. Uh, there's 252 cases of Gatling ammo here. I see. Uh, there's a bunch of ice, so we could do some refueling. I guess we oh. want all these uranium ingots. I've got a better idea, Capac. Mm, it has something to do with barbecue sauce, I'd assume. Let's get the jump drives. Let's put them on the shuttle. Let's attach the shuttle to this station. And let's break its holding pattern and just jump with it. We can see how far we can jump with it. I'm going to say three jump drives. not very. Well, with three jump drives, we may well be able to. No. Uh oh okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Where's the door? Where's the seat? I need a seat. I need a seat. I need a seat. Where's the seat? Where's the seat? Where's the seat? Where are you? <sighs> oh, I know what we can do. If we get the jump drives attached to the shuttle, it should be able to jump far enough to get back to our ships in one jump. Oh, yeah. Because it'll go 3,000 Ks. Alrighty. So we'll be able to go grab our stuff that way. That way we don't even need to move the station. Because I think you're right. The station's barely going to be able to move. But we can get those jump drives installed. And then we should be able to get a lot more distance. So we should focus on that. 